What's up guys, I'm Marcin from RossBoardTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well, hopefully you guys are doing well too. All right in front of me here is a brand new single board computer. If you guys don't know me, I love single board computers and every chance I get to get a new one, I jump at the chance. And when MediaTek reached out to me and they said they were willing to give me their new X20 board, I said, hell yeah, why not? I want them all. My single goal in life is to have every single board computer in my possession. <laughs> the MediaTek X20 is a development board like the Raspberry Pi. It runs Android 6.0. It has similar specs to the board I reviewed not too long ago, the HiKey 960. Now this board has a lot of features, but the software is not there yet. That was my only grievance. Now this video is just gonna be an unboxing and I'm gonna start it up for the first time and we're gonna test it out. Next video, I'm gonna compare this to this right here, the Heike 960, which is I think $30 more. It's like $239, and this here, the MediaTek X20, which is $199 right now. If you, if you want to buy it, it's $199 on Amazon. So in the next video, we're gonna compare the specs. We're gonna run benchmarks. We're gonna compare those two boards. We're also gonna compare them to the Raspberry Pi 3. Now let's talk about the specs. The MediaTek is sporting a MT6797 SoC with dual-core ARM Cortex A72s running up to 2.3 gigahertz, and another quad-core ARM. Cortex A53 running at 1.85 gigahertz and another quad core ARM Cortex A53 running at 1.4 gigahertz. Now for the GPU, it's got an ARM Mali T880 GPU operating up to 800 gigahertz. It comes with Android 6.0 on board, so you don't have to download anything and install it yourself. It's already installed when you buy the development board. Now for Wi-Fi, it has 802.11 A, B, C, G, N, N. It's got Bluetooth 4.1 support. It's got GPS on board. It's got two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 2.0 micro B port. It's got two gigabytes of LP DDR3 and for storage on board. It's got an eight gigabyte EMMC 5.0 EMCC drive. If you guys want future expandability, it has a micro SD slot that you can use to uh, transfer files. And for display, it's got an HDMI type A port running at 1080p 30 frames a second. It's got a 60 pin high speed expansion connector and another 16 pin expansion connector supporting headset speakers, FN antenna and more. All right, before we start the unboxing, I wanna talk about a few things that I'm planning on doing, a few projects I'm working on. One of them is right here. Now, this is a graphics card. After upgrading to the 1080 Ti, I was left with this, the GTX 970. By all means, this is not a bad graphics card. You can still play games at awesome, awesome frame rates. I was able to use this for my VR setup and still get pretty good frame rates from it. So with all this buzz about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and Ethereum, I figured why not create a Ethereum miner? As I know, Ethereum is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and the pricing went skyrocket. So everybody is grabbing any GPU that they have handy to mine. So I figured I have a GPU that I'm not using, so I'm gonna build a Ethereum mining machine. You guys wanna keep updated with the stuff I'm working on? Follow me on Twitter, it's my name at Rasim Muratsovic, links are always in the description. And if you guys are watching me on like a desktop, I think you could see that uh, all the links to all my social media on the top right, Twitter is up there. And also you can follow me on Instagram. I love Instagram more than I love Twitter because I believe with Instagram you get like instant views. And I, and I love the fact that you can take pictures and, and keep them for, for memories. And my Instagram is at Ross Muratech. So let's get on with the unboxing. All right, so this is the box right here, as you can see. As you can see, it says MediaTek X20 developer board. It's a nice box, yellow box. And it's got these uh, warning stickers here. If you move these sticker, you get to avoid the warranty. I don't know why they put it on the box or that makes no sense, but whatever. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I didn't buy this board. It was sent out to me. I'm really grateful for MediaTek sending it out to me. I love single board computers. They saw that I, I did a lot of content on like Raspberry Pis and other single board computers. And they like my content, so they figured they send me a sample for a review. And uh, one day when they when they contacted me, I'm like, hell yeah, send me it right here. I got my handy dandy unboxing knife. It's a bit overkill, right? Do I need the combat knife? Like, I use this unboxing knife in all my videos, but I like it. So well, let's just turn this over here. Cut this warranty sticker. Now the warranty is voided. All right, that's off. Just move that aside. Right on top is like a instructional manual. It's got like all the instructions you would need. Pretty cool. It's got this notice. It's got this notice right here. And it basically says to vent damage, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Here is a sexy ass board right there. Ah, oh, can I lick it? Hold on. Uh, uh, I can't lick it. Uh, it's nasty car. And here, before we get to the board, got these standoffs, I guess. I don't know what they're for, but it's cool that they add this. I, I always use standoffs for something. So I like to keep the board off the floor. So I do love standoffs. So. That's pretty cool. Let's just move the box over here, aside. Take the 
board out of this box right here. And the board now is in this empty static bag that all single board computers come with usually. I've never gotten a single board computer that did not come in one of these anti static bags, which makes sense, you know? You want to keep your device safe. Oh. All right, so here is the board in all its glory. Pretty cool. Those are the USB ports right over there. It's got an HDMI port, B, I believe, this mini one. Two regular uh, USB 2.0 ports there. Now the back of the board looks pretty cool. It's the same size as like a Raspberry Pi, I believe. So let's grab a Raspberry Pi. 20 right here, and they're pretty much the same size. All like modern, uh, all modern single board computers copy like the Raspberry Pi like form factor. There's not many uh, single board computers that does not have a single form factor to this right here. It's like come to be like the standard for all single board computers, I guess, right? And let me just move the Raspberry Pi out of the way. And right next to our MediaTek X20 right here, this is another Android board that I just got recently. You guys probably know it. it's the Hikey 960. This is a $239 single board computer. I did a bunch of videos on this board. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a cool board. I think it's overpriced. It has a lot of cool specs. Like the hardware is awesome, but the software is not there yet. The support is not there yet. And the community is not there yet. When, once it does mature, this is going to be a amazing board and I can't wait to start messing around with it more. But as you can see, these are two similar boards there. And these both these boards have similar specs. I'll talk more about that in the next video where I compare this to that. But I just wanted to show you these two boards next to each other because the next video we're going to compare these two boards. I'll talk about the specs this has compared to the specs this have. And we're also gonna do benchmarks to see which is the better board. Now, I don't wanna get too much into the specs in this video because the next video, I'm gonna talk all about the specs. We're gonna do some benchmarks. We're gonna test it out. Now, after this clip, I will be starting this up for the first time. You guys are gonna be able to see my first impressions of the Android 6 operating system on the device and I'll mess around with it for a couple minutes. Then again, the next video, I'll do a lot more cool stuff. Now, let's get on to the demonstration. All right, guys, so it's loaded right now and I'm able to capture the device using the av.io capture device. I highly recommend it if you guys are interested in like a capture device. It's a bit on the pricey side, but again, I highly recommend it. I, I use it to capture all my devices, including my monitors when I want to do tests, when I want to do like benchmarks and stuff like that. So highly recommend. Now this is it right here. So as you can see, it says swipe up to unlock. I'm swiping up. This is like your ordinary Android phone because this is a Android phone development board. You use this to develop stuff for a future like phone or software, whatever you want to use it for. And uh, this board will help you develop anything. And it's better than the pricey side. It's like $200. It's not as bad as the high key 960, which is like $240. So $200 for uh, a pretty much the same specs as the high key 960. And it's a lot cheaper and you can use it to develop apps, mess around with the hardware it's all used for development purposes but I, I like it I love it and uh, you could run uh, Linux on the device so later on I am going to flash the device with Linux and I'm gonna compare it to the Raspberry Pi 3 of course it's gonna beat out the Raspberry Pi 3 because it's way under spec because the Raspberry Pi 3 is way under spec and this thing is like $200 and it's got, got a beefy graphics card and a beefy processor so it would destroy the Raspberry Pi 3 in any benchmarks Let's take a look at what we can see. Let's take a just mess around with the software here. This is a phone thing here, but we don't have a SIM card connected to this. I don't know if you can connect the SIM card. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just go back. Here's like the phone book. And by the way, this is Android 6.0. So if you guys are ever wondering. So let's click on here. The middle, middle, middle one here is for all the apps. If you guys have ever seen any Android phone, all the apps are pretty much similar to this. This is like, I think, standard or stock Android, if I'm not mistaken. And it's got all the icons and tools you would need, calculator. And I believe you can download stuff. You should be able, we should be able to connect to the Google Play Store or Android Play Store. I, I, I'm not too sure. I'm not too familiar with uh, Android. I have, a, I have an iPhone. I've always used an iPhone since like the original iPhone. But I believe they call this the Google Play Store, if I'm not mistaken. So get all those apps there. And, you, and I can connect this to the Wi-Fi, by the way. Um, let me see if I can connect it to the Wi-Fi. Let's just click on top here. The mouse is moving really slow. I don't know why. I think it's because this is a development board, maybe. And it's a bit on the glitchy side, as you can see. I try to click on something, and it just clicks back away. Let's see what happens. Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll connect it 
the next time, uh, the next video when I like actually try this and run benchmarks and all this stuff. All I wanted to show you in this demonstration is how it looks when you first start it. The next video, we're gonna run all the benchmarks. We're gonna download some apps. I'm gonna compare it to the Hikey 960. And uh, in a future video, I'm gonna install Linux on this, possibly Raspbian, and I'm gonna compare it to a Raspberry Pi 3. With its beefy specs, it should destroy the Raspberry Pi 3 because the Raspberry Pi 3 specs suck. This is a $200 single board computer and the Raspberry Pi is a $35 single board computer. Let's put that in perspective. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the demonstration. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please give me a like. If you disliked the video, dislike the video, but leave me a comment, tell me why you disliked the video. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.